All right. Just uh, checking in with you all. See how the exam went. Got a few people. It was so bad. Michelle, tell me why. Viha, you're crying. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, you know what I did not do? I did not enable slow mode. Y'all are going to hate me. Hold on and go out and try to do it. Uh, all right. I don't know if I can enable slow mode uh, while I'm in it. Uh, I thought I just enabled slow mode on the whole thing. Oh, well. Okay. So um, let me just try to scroll through these myself here. I got religious tolerance. It was easy. Difficult to understand. Needed more time. Yeah, I bet. It's finally over. Hey, just can we just say uh, well done? You know, it's over. Whatever happened, it's over. We don't have to think about this stuff anymore. So you can just vent. You can do whatever you want. Submitting was hard. Uh, I failed. Why was submitting hard? Yeah, I know. I know. Slow mode. I know. I know. Um, I just did this last minute and uh, should have uh, got in there. I loved my topic. Okay, good. Good. I might have got a five. Glad to hear it. It was not that bad. You're welcome for your help. Uh, not as bad as I thought it was. Thank you. Feel confident. Great. Great. 900 out of 10. All right. What the heck did I just write? Yeah, that's how I felt when I wrote mine. Wasn't too bad. Good. That was rough. Michael says, I couldn't think. Yeah. I, just so y'all know, like, I'm a slow cooker. I cannot think quickly. I can't think on my feet. I need some time to go and chill. So I, if if y'all are like that, I, I'm with you, man. Um it went well. So it seems like um, a lot of people are uh, feeling decent about it. Some people not so much. Uh, Going to go cry in a corner, Gersh. Sorry, man. Or man in, you know, general, whatever. Easy money. All right. Couldn't finish. My internet crashed halfway. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Uh, wasn't that bad. Um, religious tolerance. Okay. Good. I didn't disappoint everyone in my family. Good, good. I'm so sad. I hate myself. Oh, Azra. Sorry. Champa, so happy. Failed. Oh, prompt was so easy. Good, good. That was stressful. I barely finished, but you finished. That's good. AP stats tomorrow. Slow mode. Can't do it. I look, I've I've typed that in the thing before. I'm gonna do it for you. Watch. Slow mode doesn't do a thing. Uh, so happy. Good. Evaluate the extent of the environment affected the expansion of empires. Interesting. Uh, who wants some rice? Yeah, y'all go, go chill out with some champa rice, okay? Get, go get yourself some champa rice and celebrate. Uh, computer crashed. Oh, no. You guys did it. Worst experience of my life. Okay, well, that's good. It's all uphill from here, right? I mean, not uphill, downhill. Although this is the bottom, I don't know. Head hurts. It was easy. Wow, great, great. Bad period. Can you shout out Miss Frigo? Yes, I can. I did goaded on it. Okay. All right. I don't know what that means, but good. Yeah, if that makes you uh, feel good. Um, uh, yeah, Champa Rice. Champa Rice, religious tolerance. Prompt was easy. All right. Uh, somebody got something on the Mongols. Um, so many syntax mistakes. Don't worry about your syntax mistakes. Hopefully, um, I mean, the readers are going to do their best to, uh, to like interpret what you mean. They're not just, they're not going to take off points. Uh, if you got it, uh, you know, missed a, ended a sentence in a preposition or whatever, you're going to be fine. Uh, didn't finish the concluding paragraph. That's fine. I know a lot of people didn't. Uh, Gus Zami. I was unable to access the exam because I never received an e-ticket. Ah, oh, yeah, you can request a makeup exam for that. That's terrible. All this buildup and then you couldn't access it? Oh, do you know when to get results back? Uh, apparently the results are coming back July 15th-ish, middle of July. So, you know, hopefully you can forget it between now and then. Um, all right, 500 words. Shout out to Mr. Jaeger. Yes, I will. We got, oh man, we got uh, texts, 
emails coming in from everywhere. My students are saying that they felt good about it, well prepared. I am glad for that. Uh, what if we what if we forgot to put our AP ID at the top of the page? I think that's okay. Oh, one of my students just said that she felt really good. Good. Um, I think it's okay if you forgot your AP ID. Um, I, I think I saw something about that. I'm not totally sure. Oh, wow. Only as I'm looking at myself do I realize that my shirt is all wrinkled. Hey. I'm on a live stream. What you need? Oh, you are? So yeah, that's okay. <laughs> um, but hey, you know, it's, it's quarantine life. That's it's, it's all it is. Uh, all right. Just glad you made it out alive. I'm glad you made it out alive, too. Um, are we allowed to send our essays to each other? Um, yeah, I think so. I, I don't know why you wouldn't be. Um, you know, it's not going to, you know, they're going to have a makeup in June, and I don't think that's, I mean, that, that's not going to help them. It's probably gonna, it's going to be a different question. So I don't know why you couldn't. Um, is 350 words good? I don't know. How good were those 350 words? <laughs> uh, that's 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 the deal. Imagine him being your dad. It's not as nice as you think. Uh, Vasco da Gama and King Louis be outside evidence. I guess I don't. I, I guess I don't know. Uh, it depends on how you tie it in. Uh, I only mentioned three documents. Well, hopefully you got those. Got a good argument going with those three. Because if you argue with two, that's two points. Um, as soon as I saw the Mongols, I went straight to the, my note, my notes. I'm, I'm glad they hit the Mongols. I feel like a lot of kids know a lot about the Mongols. So I'm glad they did that. Uh, unit two review saved me. Good, good, good. I have no idea how many different prompts there were. Um, didn't put my AP ID. Um, hopefully did, did, I'm curious, did anybody have to submit it via email? Like it didn't submit and you had to submit via email. I'm, I'm curious about that. Um, did everybody get the same prompt? No, no. Don't, yeah, duh, I agree with I agree with my good friend Krusty Cheetah. Don't spam in the chat. Uh, we've got enough people. Um, we've got enough people trying to put stuff in here. And I didn't enable slow mode. And I know you guys are going to tell me to put slash slow mode in the thing. I've done it. Doesn't work. Um, and there's no gear up here uh, to change it. So anyway, sorry about that. But I am I'm scrolling it. Uh, on my own here, and I'm I'm getting to a lot of these. So, I had 16 words. Oh, man! I hope they were good words. I hope they were good words. Um, Non-Western elites differed in societies. Uh, Heimler, if I get over a one, it goes all to you. Okay, well, good, good. What if you forgot to cite? If you forgot to cite, like if you forgot to mention that what document it comes from, doesn't matter. Uh, that the readers know what documents you're. Uh, taken from, and that's not a problem. Um, thank you for all your help. You're well. You're welcome, uh, Miss Denton. Yes, I will shout out Miss Denton. Um, good to see you. Uh, if I get less than three, I'm going to cry so hard. 488 words. I mean, that's not that's not terrible. That's not. I mean, that you can get a great score with that many words. I had zero words because I didn't do this test. Fair enough. Um, Non-Western elites. Okay, good. Um, no idea how to write a DBQ. I watched the Heimler video during the test and I wrote an epic DBQ. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> you watched my how to write a DBQ video during the exam and then you, that's, hey, respect. I got respect for that. Uh, no, you did not need a conclusion. Vasco da Gama, he's always uh, good. Uh, 733 words. All right. Literally watch every single one of your videos. Good. My, your luscious beard helped you with the test. Good. Thanks to you and your beard. Uh, good. Longer essays are not necessarily better. Um, just depends on how well reasoned they are. Um, 853 words, 600 words. I, you quoted me. All right. All right. Good. Good. I watched the video right before. Uh, religious tolerance. Okay, so I've so far I've counted three. I've got religious tolerance, non-Western elites, and the Mongols. So unless the unless the Mongols was religious tolerance, um, industrial revolution. Okay, so that's four. Is it okay that I only use four docs? Yeah, you can get full points for using only four. That's fine. I accidentally said Protestant Reformation instead of Spanish Inquisition. That that might be okay. 
It depends on how well you explained it. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome, son. William. Uh, 949 words. Very good. Very good. Uh, I'm just glad. I'm just glad y'all are done. You know, I mean, the, the, the amount of stress that has been building up, um, the amount of preparation that y'all have put into this. I mean, goodness sakes, what a, what a hot mess this year was. I, but I, I hope y'all can go take a nap for a week. I don't know. Are there any more exams left? Are there exams at four? Exam, uh, I hope not, but I, I think there are actually. I think there's actually a few more exams. I uh, I wish I wish y'all were done. I hope you are. Um, class of 22, shout out Elizabeth Hayes. Yes, of course I can. Um, I finished so early. Well, that's good news. Okay, I got stats left. AP stats. Shout out to Mr. Collins. Thank you for being my lifesaver. Yes, Albert. Don't know. Um, you're my favorite human. Oh. There's a lot of humans to choose from, so thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you for your words. Shout out to Miss Kivet. Kivet? Kivet. Yes. Environmental effects on imperialism. Environmental effects on, or or imperialism effects on environment. What is imper environmental effects on imperialism? That's interesting. Um, uh, another one of my students. The prompt wasn't too hard. Good. So I wrote my essay in three paragraphs. Good. Good. No, no penalty for writing only three paragraphs, as long as they're good paragraphs. Very good, very good. Um, tell a dad joke. Oh, man, I used them all up yesterday. Um, okay, uh, hold on. Uh, I, think I, I think I can access one here. Let's see. Um, oh. Uh, <laughs> I got one. <laughs> what's gr what's green <laughs> I thought I, I was a theater major for a little while thought I was going to be an actor I really wanted to be one but I could not keep it straight when funny things were happening on stage I could not do it <laughs> and even if I just think of a funny joke, which is not that funny, I can't hold it together. What's green and has wheels? Grass. I was just kidding about the wheels. <laughs> it's not funny. It's really not funny. Oh, man. Okay. Shout out to Miss G and Walk Rogers. Yes. Uh, your hair is amazing. First time I've ever heard that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mongol cultural practices. Okay. Um, it's over. Yes, it is, Lily. It's over. Mr. Matthew Hauk. Yes. Uh, my conclusion was one sentence. That's fine. You don't need a conclusion. You're good. Miss Browdy, of course. I used your planning page. Good. Good. What's What happens if I forgot my AP ID on the test? I, I think it's going to be okay. Um Hopefully, um, hopefully, I think that's just like a double um, security thing for them just to make sure that your exam is your exam. And, you know, like when they're processing them all, sending them to um, sending them to uh, the readers, like to make sure that the one that was submitted matches up with the number. But I think that's like a secondary protocol. I, I think it's going to be OK if you didn't put it on there, but I'm not totally sure. Um yeah, when will we get our grades? Mid-July, they're saying, like July 15th-ish. Do spelling mistakes count? No, just as long as I can tell what it is you're trying to say. Um, shout out to all the teachers. Yes. Can, can, let me just say something. Like, I know um, y'all, you know, we nobody has in, in my lifetime had to endure this kind of um, end of a school year. And... Um, I rub shoulders with an awful lot of teachers and they have worked incredibly hard, harder than any student knows uh, to make sure that y'all are well prepared. And, and look, I, I've, I've heard from some of you and some of you are like, yeah, my teacher didn't teach my, you know, whatever that, but uh, cut them some slack. I mean, trust me, like that they, 
I'm sh I'm sure there's the I'm 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 sure I can't speak for everyone. I'm sure there's the uh, you know the turd out there uh, who just looked at this as a, an excuse not to do anything. Um, but for the most part, um, make sure you just make sure you send your teachers a thank you. Just like I know it was hard, but thank you for all the work that you did. I, I know that they would appreciate that, and I know that they've worked very hard. Even if in some cases it doesn't think like it doesn't seem like it, and plus the gratitude will help you as well. Um, shout to Justin Davenport, yes, Mr. Denning, Mr. Silvera, Silvera, Mr. Griffith. These are going so fast. Miss Mr. Rose, yes, uh, Mrs. Bowman, yes, um, Miss Mr. Thompson, yes, indeed from New Jersey, Miss Hartman. Matthew Wang Wong, yes, Coach Weathers, Mr. Northrup, yes, Mrs. Mr. Willis. Okay, this turned into a shout out. Um, okay, so Ali Sanchez, thank you. You helped us all so much. I hope so. Like at the end of the day, like all I really want, I mean, I I I enjoy making the videos and I enjoy uh interacting with you, but all I really want is for y'all to feel like like d d confident. You know, I, I don't just want to explain things to people like to me. I mean, you're you're more than just brains on sticks. You know, you 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 you're a fully orbed. I mean, you're a full human being. And so I don't necessarily just want to have information transfer. I want you to feel confident. Like, I want you to feel like, you know, I can do this. Um, so I hope that's. I, at least one person said that that was true, and I'm deeply grateful uh, for that. Um, all right. Um, contextualization for the Mongolians adapting religion while conquering. Thank you, Miss Wilson, Miss Nichols, Mr. McMillan. Uh, thank you for all your help, Mr. Heimler. You are most welcome. Absolutely. Miss Hendricks, uh, Vivian G. Yes, Miss Waugh. Um, Miss Murray, I, f I was so confident in my DBQ and it didn't work. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Did you get to email it? Did anybody have to email it? I'm just curious. Um, Single-handedly saving me. I, I think you're underestimating yourself. Um, I only used two documents. That's okay. I mean, if you could still get uh, two points for using two documents, so long as you argued with them, that's good news. Uh, Mr. Poe, the goat, yes. Oh, man, there's so many people to shout out. Uh, Heimler, what are you doing? Take a nice bubble bath. You deserve it. <laughs> you know, uh, so do you. You guys all deserve yourself a bubble bath as well. But uh, I was just sitting there actually grading stuff for my own students. Um, and uh, I noticed it was like 250. And I'm like, well, man, I really wish I could find out how it went. So I, you know, I sent a quick email out to my students um, to see how it went. And I was like, well, let's do this. And then I forgot to put it on slow mode. So, you know, um, th this makes me happy. It makes me happy to, to hear from y'all and hear how it went. Plus, you need like a forum to, you know, just let it release. Let it release. Check out this mask my wife made me. Mm. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Look, it's even got like a you got like a filter inside. You can put like a little filter in there. She killed it. Well, this is in a different color. Like a little different color for the wire. Oh man, she's great. She she made me that. I've been wearing it today because I've been in my basement with all these guys working. They ain't got no masks on, so I gotta gotta stay safe. Gotta stay safe. Heimler can't die because y'all. I gotta stick around for a push next year. Um. Okay, we got some more people, more people coming in. Uh, the prompt was the worst. Changed my mind. <laughs> Shout out to Miss Watson. Uh, Mr. Metcalf, he is awesome. Mr. Sprinkle, Mrs. Hamilton. I know I'm missing like so many. I'm sorry. I hope that at least some of you guys are feeling loved by this. Um, you had to email it? Okay, I just and then it just shot on by. Uh Mr. Heimler, you have a nice porch. It it is. This is this is I mean we gotta paint it. It's starting to it's starting to look a little rough, but man, my uh the the uh the front porch, man, 
just makes me happy. It just makes me happy. Um, and now my neighbor is mowing their grass. It's reality, folks. It's just reality. What happens if you fail? You fail. And you just go on with your life. Can I just tell you all something? I never took an AP class in my life. That may, Maybe that's a surprise. I was a terrible student. Okay, I, literally like a C-level student. I, I actually barely eked out a 3.0 graduating from high school. And the only reason I did that was because I have a scholarship here in Georgia uh, that, um, you know, you have to have a 3.0 and you get, you know, scholarship money for it. Um, and uh, I wasn't even sure I was going to go to college. I was like the first person in my family to go to college. Um, in fact, like y'all, y'all are all, you know, working so hard on these exams to get to college. Let me tell you about how I went to college real quick. Um, I went, uh, I went to high school here in Georgia in Atlanta, North Atlanta. And, uh, I, I wasn't that interested in school, never took an AP class in my life. Um, and I graduated and then in July, in July, my dad walks down into my room and is like, Hey, are you going to college? And I'm like, I don't, I guess let's, let's go to college. Why not? And, and so I applied, uh, to a local college down the road and got in. Like I applied to college one month before I went to college. Um, and so the, all, the point of that story is this, like I, I didn't actually start to love learning until I was, uh, probably in graduate school. Um, and, uh, Oh yeah, somebody's got my uh, somebody's got my credentials right here. Bachelor of Arts in Speech Communication, University of Georgia, Master of Divinity from Asbury Theological Seminary. Previously, he was a legend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it wasn't really until graduate school that I enjoyed learning. And so I I've, I've failed a lot of tests myself. And I know that this one's like a higher stakes test than a lot of the other ones that you take. Um, but here's the deal: if you did bad, so what? I mean. I know it's going to be disappointing and I know, but guess what? You're going to get over it. You get, you're going to get over it. It's going to be fine. The, this test is not the uh, up down vote on whether or not you are um, a human being of worth in this world. And so if it went badly, it went badly. That's fine. And if it went badly because you didn't prepare, Okay, well that that's that's how it works, you know. Wh whatever seeds you put in the ground, that's what's going to grow up. Um, if you really did prepare and it went badly, um, then that's rough. Uh, but sometimes that happens too. Like, look, I'm a 40 year old man. I've lived more life than most of the people watching this. Um, trust me. Once you come down off of this, once you're living your life again, it's going to be okay. It's good. whatever happens will be okay. All right. Let me see if I can uh, hit a few more of these comments. Uh, I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, we got some more, um, college board lawsuits. Who's going to sue the college board? What y'all going to do? What y'all going to do? Um, Somebody threatened to sue me at one point because, you know, my ultimate review packet, that thing that I sell for like review. Um, I, it was I was starting to get a lot of emails and I missed that somebody couldn't get access into it. And so I missed that email. Um, and, uh, and if any of my students are watching this, they're like, yeah, he doesn't answer emails. So I, I try. I do my best. But anyway, somebody wrote me an email saying they were going to sue me. Uh, because they couldn't get a refund for the twenty dollars on their uh, ultimate review packet, and I'm like, I don't think you know how suing works. You're, you're going to go pay a lawyer one hundred and fifty dollars an hour and spend a whole day in court to get your twenty dollars back. I mean, it, you you can sue the College Board if you like. I don't recommend it, but you can sue the College Board for ninety four dollars, but it's going to cost you a lot more than that. Um, all right. All right. Anyway, I ended up giving that guy the refund. He was fine. He was fine. But he'll probably never buy anything from me again. Um, all right. Can we show our friends our exams 
I think so. It, I mean, y'all are the ones who got all the, you know, instructions for what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. Um, but I don't think that's a problem. I don't think it's considered cheating. Um, uh, Derek Rose is the best player in the NBA. <laughs> I don't know what I just got myself into there. Um, you got me a five. No, you got you a five. You got you a five. Um, do you think I can get a three with only an intro and one body paragraph? You you could get you could get like a six or a seven out of ten with just an intro and a one body paragraph, supposing they're really good. Um, so I guess it depends on what's in those paragraphs. Uh, Champa Rice all day. And by the way, okay, um, some people are asking me to uh, score their exams. I, I just can't. I'm sorry. I would I would love to help you, but my goodness, I, I've I was getting so behind on my own students' essays. I uh, finally got caught up. I can't look at another one. I'm sorry. I, I hope you all know I still love you, but um, I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, maybe your teacher will do it. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, Mr. Kennedy. Yes, indeed. Subscribe. Oh, y'all, y'all are uh, now we're spamming. Um, you gave me a five. You big, beautiful man. <laughs> Heimler grade my essay. No, I won't. I'm not looking at another DBQ for a long time. I still love you, but I, I'm not. Can you model your merch for a different video? I don't, I don't, yeah, I'm not wearing any Heimler's history. My computer crashed. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Can you work at the college board and increase the time limit for exams? Well, I mean, the normal time limit for exams is like three hours and 15 minutes. Y you want more? I mean, I get it. You'd want more so that you can, you know, potentially work longer on it. But man, who wants to sit for longer than three hours and 15 minutes? It sounds terrible. Again, if you're just, just coming on, sorry for the shirt. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be live streaming. This is sort of a quick thing. Uh, but, you know, this is supposed to be one of those, it's one of my fishing shirts. I'm supposed to be like just all the wrinkles should fall out. But, you know, it it's not happening. It's not happening. Um, all right. AP World History. Mr. Sue, uh, you and that big, beautiful beard have been my amazing from both me and my students. Well, thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. They're lucky to have you. Uh, I'm getting your merch. Well, thank you. I, I, I've got a whole shelf full of it right in that room right there uh, that needs to go out. So, yes, please do. Uh, another email from my student. I think it went well. Good, good. Um, it was so hard, but then I actually read the question and it was easy. Yes, good, good. Uh, shout out Miss Spindor. Yes, I will. Woodstock, Georgia? Woodstock? That's where I am. I'm sitting in Woodstock, Georgia right now. What? Where y'all at? Paradoxical box. What? Uh, what's cool? Um, Mr. Nichols? Yes. Oh, look at all those crowns. Y'all are too kind to me. Are you doing AP US history videos? Yes. I am doing AP US history videos. I'm going to get started on those uh, just as soon as my studio is, is done being built out. Um, I'm going to be, uh, just so you all know, um, if, if you were helped and you know, you want to help support what I'm doing, uh, I'll be putting together a, um, ultimate review packet for APUS. Uh, it'll probably be out in mid June. Uh, uh, no wait, What is today? No, sorry. July, mid July, about the time you're getting your exams back. Um, and, uh, that, that's, that will really help me, um, I hope it'll help you. It'll help me, um, you know, be freed up to uh, produce more stuff for y'all. Um, so anyway, that's coming out. Uh, but yes, house tour. Uh, new, new. My wife is sleeping. The kids, that's that's going to be terrible. No, mis spelling mistakes don't count. Um, Mr. Costanza from New York. Good to see you guys. Um, all right. Well, guys, it's uh, 3.30. I've actually got... <clears throat> I've actually got more uh, my stuff, more of my students' stuff to grade, 
And uh, but I just wanted to come on and say that uh, I'm proud of you guys. Well done to everybody. And uh, I sure do hope that um, that you can get some rest uh, after all this. Um, maybe you have some more exams. I don't know. But at least this one is done. So um, much love to all of you. And I have got to run. So Heimler out. Bye, guys. <laughs>